Hello there everyone and welcome back. It is patch day. Well, it's actually been a few days after the patch, but everyone else has been nerfed and you know what that means. It's time for the orcs to start stomping everything. Because AoE has been cut almost entirely across the board with pretty much nothing but a handful of buffs. Maybe one slight nerf to the storm boys, but... We're looking very promising now as we continue this rampage on through. It remains to be seen if I can actually take advantage of it, but apparently all the psychers, the, was it the Weird Doctor, Orion, and the Farseer, Maka, have all had their damage potential reduced mainly due to how many units they can actually hit per squad, so it is almost cut in half there for a full or Orc Boy squad. Although, my style tends to leave me with wounded units there, so that way I can heal them back up with scrap and a good wog every now and then, so it may not be as potent or as powerful as I like, but with fresh units that's going to be noticeable. Especially with even the assault marines, though, like that assault charge I've been having issue with has also been cut down to size quite heavily, holy crap. As well as the banshee, banshee, what is it, the banshee charge, so... That one at least required like a research of some kind, but even that got nerfed. And even my boys, my standard boys have had their supply cut down. So I'm not going to get penalized as hard for being over the 30 supply cap. At least until the upkeep starts uh, kicking in. So everything is looking good for me there. It's just a matter. Well, like I said, the Storm Boys did get nerfed with their suicide attack. So it's not really something I use all that often anyway, because... It actually cost me one of my boys to actually suicide to take full advantage of it. But apparently it's been useful to some people for bursting things down. If you can hit with it. And with the suicide cost it's not something I'm really comfortable in doing on a regular basis. Also we got ourselves a new map. Although it's technically just a 2v2 map that's just been reconditioned for 1v1. So it's not as exciting as it sounds I'm afraid to admit. But still, more variety is always going to be nice there, especially now that I kind of have figured out what I would like to do for these original three maps. At least Port Sonderous, I have a really damn good idea on how to play that, or at least a good starting idea. It, I'm still getting outflanked and outmaneuvered quite a bit just due to my grots not being able to spot, mainly because they're getting shot down or I'm just not paying attention. Or, I don't even have Garrots to begin with, which is more than likely the case. But, never mind that fact. We're going to push on through. We're going to try out fighting the new Space Marines, the new Eldar. Especially since the Tactical Marines, the basic units, are a lot more stronger. They're almost as strong as the Dire Avengers, surprisingly enough. Although, I still have like the better boys in close. Especially if I can get any form of upgrades charged with hyping them up. Especially since his tactical marines are also more expensive, so I can still overwhelm him if he wants to go that route. Still, let's get ourselves a match and see what happens. Alright, mirror match folks, we're fighting more orcs. Although I guess that shouldn't be too much of a surprise since everyone else got nerfed horribly. As much as I would hate to have nothing but constant mirror matches, I was the one who was here first. I could proudly proclaim that with my 10-12 matches in as the Orcs ever since the release. Although, that has been a while ago, and since this video, this series has really been my only real experience with 1v1 as Orcs, I could very well be unexperienced for a mere match. We will see. It all comes down to really understanding what he's utilizing as far as doctrines and elites, so I could get a sense of his playstyle there. Get a sense of his playstyle and hopefully abuse it. Because that's going to be a real trick. As well as managing my upkeep. Not getting penalized for the resource gain as much. Trying to hit that sweet spot of 30 supply in the early portion as much as possible. While still doing a good amount of aggression and damage. Figuring out his playstyle will be our key. Because he's upgrading his shooters so he's pretty much going that route. And he has the exact same elites I do otherwise so... I'm getting more melee centric, he's getting more range centric for a start, so... And I'm pretty certain that's the one that upgrades his uh, bombs. When he when he gets scrapped there, he has a chance of just shooting free stick bombs at me, so... 
We'll have to see if that's true or not. I'm gonna have to check on that. Just so I know what I'm up against. So boys are building. I like to go for the top there first, but actually let me use this opportunity. If it'll let me. Oh, they changed the hotkeys, didn't they? Because now I have no idea how to get to the score screen. It used to be tab or tilde, or so I saw it, but now I can't check it. And I'm not going to bother to look through hotkeys in the middle of a battle. I just know they messed up my elites there, because now Gorguts is F6 rather than F1. And my Storm Boys are F8, so using those keys is not very practical. So, we're going to have to adjust on that now that I realize. We got boys going on out. We, we also had increased the resource gain, so that lines up nicely with my bo extra boys. And just kill the Grots. I'll forget about the shooters, just kill the Wog Tower. Can I kill the bo- Can I kill them? I think I can kill them. And now, boys, get on out. Just deny the Wog Banner, ideally. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, and I'm getting distracted here. If only a little bit, so. I got a lot of boys and he has none. So let's just start smashing stuff. That sounds always like a good plan, doesn't it? And now his, this is going to be like the Eldar match, isn't it? I get in his face and he's going to die horribly as a result. That's what it's starting to feel like. Also, I need to get some Gretchens ready to start grabbing my power generator pretty soon. Because the Wog huts down, there's lots of boys, I'm going to have to get more up here to help. And I actually can start shouting the tank and shield. Let's burn up all the resources if we can. Because now his Wog banner is gone, he's not going to benefit from that. To some vague extent. And I also have scrap. Let me steal the scrap before he does, actually. Damn it, he just did that. That's kind of what I was thinking of. That's what I was that was what I was referring to. If only it was more on top of that. I could have got the health regen and he didn't. Let's see. Keep the wall going. Get shooter boys out. And let's get some power. Because he's gonna start upgrading behind all this, isn't he? I do have charges going with him using shooter boys. He doesn't really get the same benefit. I do want to kill the shooter boys though, if nothing else. Keep killing the shooter boys. Because they're his main units and this is getting brutal. Needless to say. Also, keep the requisition going. It's kind of handy. Now, can I get more boys shooting these shooter squads? I don't want them getting free shots. He is, yeah, he's so starting to overwhelm me. It's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because he's reinforcing as well, that's why. Because of stick bombs everywhere. Keep on charging, keep on getting extra power. Because I'm, I'm building up units through all this. Oh, I don't know why I have Gretchen's here, but... I don't know why the Gretchens are here, but I'll take them. Start shouting, keep the shouting going, because yeah, he's just reinforcing like crazy. I need to make sure I keep getting boys in though, but where are my shooters? Uh, oh, they're getting killed, that's why. Okay. I'm hoping I was in the good exchange of that. It was, needless to say, pretty damn messy. And with all these resources in the middle, I should be okay. I just hope I've been managing it pretty well. Because now with him using stick bombs and all that, probably not the best exchange. But I gotta get ready to keep pushing out. Got two squads of boys going. He's got his resource point finally. He did lose his wog banner. Does that really help all that much? Not until, unless he wants to do a push, really. That's really the only benefit he gets out of this. 
And if only I got that scrap that actually may have started turning things around for me too. I feel like that was the case. Kind of weird having every to scramble for the scrap there because he did it before me. Probably because I was actually being blocked by my own units. So, I got lots of resources down below. I would like to keep. I would like to push for the generators. Is that a good idea? Maybe with the storm boys, since he's way up top. Yeah, let me get some resource points going, and if I'm able to, just hit the shield generator because I want to believe he invested a lot in that. That's my belief, anyway. Whether it's true, I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you. Get your damage in. Let him have his resources up top. Because I got a elite point generator here that's going to build. I'm going to get more elite points with the generator, assuming I could kill it. Yeah, I could kill Gretchen's easily enough. Kill the Gretchen's. There we go. No shields for you. And now, listening posts are up, so I'm sa relatively safe. At least vaguely safe. As I kill this generator, and I have jumps ready to get on out in a moment's notice. I just need to be prepared for any counterattack or shenanigans he might do, since I have no Gretchens available. Well, I do have Gretchens, they're kind of just building my listening post right now. Alright, get on out. Try to, anyway. I wonder if I could just shoot them. This is a dumb idea, isn't it? Yeah, if I had my boys in a position, that would be good. Because now they're pretty much dead for free, aren't they? So close, it did not pay off. I do have an elite point generator still, but... Do I have the units to actually take advantage? Probably not. This is a bit weird, isn't it? I got two charges, which is fine. So just keep on hitting there. That was a bit awkward exchange, wasn't it? I don't even have a walk banner, do I yet? Jeez, and he used his suicide again really quick. So, let's get the shield and try and take advantage of my extra elite points. Because I once my storm boys are back up, I can just hit that point really easily. I just need to get some Daka shooters now, because I have been neglecting my dang wog, wasn't I? Did I? Oh, I just lost Grot down there. He wastes his wog, so... I want to say I could start doing some damage up here unless he has like a million different wog banners. This is probably not a good idea. Yeah, especially with the Storm Boys there. He's going to suicide in a moment. Okay, damaged my boys really well. I don't know why they're attacking the dang structure there, but okay. I was hoping for some free damage, they're not doing it. He's suicide. Yeesh, you can suicide those boys pretty often, I gotta say. That was not expecting. Now, how close am I to Gorguts? Pretty damn close. Elite point generator is gone. I'm about to have Gorguts, so. Let's get ready for my own wog and heal up. Because. With the Elite Point Generator, I can just do a full-on push, I think. Get the boys out. What happened to my... What happened to my Gretchens? Oh, I moved them. Go figure. Yeah, I think my tech was a little bit slow there, but it was a definitely an intense match there as far as, like, the exchange. Again, you figure I'd be in the better exchange just simply because... Of that was a full health uh, boy squad. I didn't want that. I didn't want that, but let's see. 60 seconds. Wow, I thought it was close than that, but... With the extra points I generate, do you think I should have Gorguts out well before 
him. You would think, because he would have to build his now. I could. I'm gonna have one Death Luda squad to benefit from any AoE potential. So we'll plan out for Gorgots coming out, because he seems to be insistent on not pushing. Can I just get something to attack down below? Not with Gretchen's anyway. He's likely gonna have Gretchen's as some squad. Alright. Shield up. Come on, I said shield up, damn it. And he does have... He, he does have his own Daka launcher. There. Or da Death Luda. Which, speaking of which, where are mine? Do you have Gorguts out? Get Gorguts out. And try and get ready to do my own push. Also, can I heal at all? Yeah, I can get one boy squad healed. So Gorguts is out. This is my one little bonus I have. Because he looks like he's just forfeit this all together. Alright, Gorguts, do your stuff. Because my boys are the wrecking crew here, not everything else. I would like to shoot the shooter boys, though. Or the storm boys. Kill them quickly. Get the boys shouting, get everything dying. Kill the death lootas. Alright, boys, keep on moving. Keep on moving, get more death lootas, because we killed some of the structures. I don't have any Gretchens, though. Although, not here anyway. Yeah, he's just... He's just, uh, turtling up. Can I kill... What I would love is if I can kill the dang shield generator down below. That would be amazing. Now, find out which of my boys needs scrap. That are, well, preferably those that need scrap. Yeah, let's see. Get more Wog Banners out. And also I need to do heavy teching of some sort, so a pile of guns should start coming out. And all the while, let's start pressuring them. Actually, Gorguts can start pushing, actually, because of this Whirlwind. And with his current uh, Scrap upgrade, if he can last for the full duration, it'll just heal all my units. I do need to be careful of dang, uh, him stunning my guys, though. Because he's about to taunt, yeah. That probably wasn't a good idea. And of course my dang... My dang thing didn't even work. Although, we're gonna get the shield generator. As a bonus. And he still has storm boys out, apparently, because... If the Storm Boys were dead, he wouldn't be able to shoot the... I don't think he would shoot... Oh no, that's for the vehicles, the shield. So I'm wrong there. Although now things are coming along nicely. Sloppy start. Especially now that I'm not actually getting units. I'm kind of squandering resources there, but... Let's keep upgrading while this fight's going on. So he's launched his Death Looters, we pushed them back heavily, keep the upgrades going, keep units building, and we got a shield generator, so all in all this is really damn good exchange. I need tech though, I need more pile of guns. Actually, to help make up for my lack of upgrades, I'm going to go with devil pile of guns. Well, I think that's what I'll do. Actually, we'll also do another Wog to heal. Because why not? And it's going to scare him too. It's going to make him think I'm going to do another offensive push. So I'm okay with scaring him a little bit. I just got to get another Wog banner to start continuing with the banners. Wog banner number three is coming up. 
get these scrap going. We got some decent health. And we have scrap up here to start gathering. Only thing now is to make sure my I have fission down below. That's a potential liability. Especially with him getting vehicles now. And also, how much resources am I losing? Oh, about a third of my resources currently. And I'm not going to get uh, Mega Knobs anytime soon, so that's probably not worth doing. His death loose are just getting shot down horribly. I like it. I like it a lot. Am I going to get the upgrades I want? Probably not in time. It's going to be midway through the fight, though. Storm Boys are down, though. He's got knobs. Everyone is healed. Everyone is shooting. Now we'll we'll use our own suicide bomb. Well, it was. Then he started taunting me, the jerk. Okay, I lost my own storm boys there. I had my wog to kind of help benefit from that. So he does have the tech. But guess what? He used up all his units and now I can finish off his squad. I hope. No, it doesn't look like it. Gorguts is about to die, so... Alright, get on in there. Make him think twice about this. Because yeah, I'm starting to fall apart because of dang res lack of resources in. Not spending enough units. Oh, I want my knobs to attack, damn it. They're not attacking. I wish I had an easy way to select them, just haphazardly. Get Gorguts out. He'll live the fight in our day. Let's see. Knobs are about to die. Damage is being done. I have so many squads that are kind of like hanging back, which I do not like one bit. And I did upgrade my no, they don't they don't have scrap there yet, so. Get Gore Guts healed up. Keep get some rock tank busters, those are gonna be really good against some mobs. And scrap up the heal. Healing is going to be pretty important, especially since I killed his entire army there almost. With him, and with him on limited resources, I should be okay, right? How's my walk timing? Okay, 30 seconds there. Keep these upgrades going, because that's how I'm going to catch up on the upgrade front. And get these guys close enough to heal, I kind of would like that. Because maybe I didn't time this the best, getting distracted. No, nope, they didn't get the wog. I would have liked the extra healing there. Although I'm about to do another one in a moment, so that will correct itself momentarily. Get more tank busters is the plan. Get more boys, get more wog, and get ready to take this seriously now. Especially now my two level 2 upgrades are starting to kick in. Only thing that I could be doing better is actually upgrading my resource points. Ooh, this is perfect. I just they're not gonna make it in time, are they? Oh, so close. I would have liked the Mega Knobs to be in on that that little bonus. We know he's going to like Well, let's see. There's the Death Lutas. Structures getting the way, go figure. Gorguts doesn't take that kindly. His storm boys are up, so let's get them in as well, I guess. Now, kill Gorguts. Actually, I'm not taunting very well, so... Let's fix that, shall we? Let's correct this little mess of ours, because I have tank busters. I don't care if Gorguts actually dies this time or not. I'm just going to make sure I'm actually building, though. Building units this time. Oh, 
Although killing the shield generator was not something I planned for. Now I'm inside the turret range. Which actually may not be too terrible. So long as my units can tank. Oh, we got, still got storm boys. If I could kill the turret that would be great. But it would probably be a little bit risky with gore guts and all that. Okay, we dodged that attack. He is just storm boying it up. Okay, and he is using rocks there, so. I think now is a good time to bail because of that. Get on out, everyone. Okay. We at least dealt with the Storm Boy there, at least with the rocks, although I'm gonna lose my Mega Knobs, aren't I? And he is gonna start getting extra attack, so... Get some Wog Tape Banners down here, so maybe we can attack down below. Okay. Two could play at this game, pretty much. If he has Gorguts, so he can heal. Alright, everyone group up, get some scrap, because apparently I've been neglecting that. And I could, I kind of need Gorguts to be hanging back there, so he can heal, because he's a pretty easy target to kill. Okay, he just walked the heal, nope, he's actually coming this time. Alright, Gorguts, make his life a living hell. And then, since he's probably going to come after me, well, I say that, but then Gorgut's little grapple run did, messed up horribly. So what we're going to do is attack down below now. Keep the units building, and hopefully I have enough units to do some serious damage, or at least go after resources. That's probably the big thing. And also, let's upgrade this and get the dang Gretchens actually to use. Well, I would say get them used, but with how mixed up this is, I'm trying to figure out where my Gretchens are. Because no, the ones I have in my hawk, my group are pretty much gone. Uh, I should go after the turret. Yeah, especially since he has units here, so the rockets are going to be nice at killing the boys in a hurry. That's the hope. That's a hope, maybe? They're, they're heavy armor, so you think they would do bonus damage. Nope. How much health does this thing have? Only 3,000. So yeah, just attacking the turret is better. What the hell are you guys doing? Jesus Christ, rebellion on every, every front. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have just gone after the resources. I underestimate how valuable or how much damage I can do. The upgrades are still going. We're going to upgrade the Shout, although I don't think boys are really all that useful at this point, are they? I kind of... Considering the health of those turrets, though, I kind of want to hit in two directions. That sounds like the best idea. Because apparently one knob squad can throw me off so easily, so if I can... Juke him. Actually, yeah, let's go for a turn now. Well, he only has Storm Boys. Okay, now he has more. And this will scare him a little bit. Maybe. We gotta get everyone up here, though. That might be a good idea. Get everyone up. Yeah, he's got Death... He's got Death Dreads and all that. This is not going fire well and he has his own... Nope, he has Gore Guts. And I don't quite have the health I want, damn it. Come on, Gore Guts, stop rebelling. Although I missed that shot when I kept spamming. So things are starting to mess up a little bit. Okay, tank those shots there, Gore Guts, because you kind of need to. 
as I keep building up units. Do I? Let's see, get hit. So Gorguts is dead. There, Gorguts, anyway. And now I need to seriously heal up. Do I have any Gretches up top? I have no icons to kind of represent if I do or not. I just gotta hope I have Gretches around, that's really what it is, and that's kind of not a very comfy thing. I'll keep the upgrades going. Boost up my resources some since I just lost the bottom point. Again, another Wog Banner would also be nice, but I'm trying to look down here again if I have Gretchens to not have to build anymore. So that will give us our fourth banner. I can drop rocks for the next attack at least. And sadly, this Elite Point Generator is not much use anymore. And he's going to have his own Mega Knobs pretty soon. But once I get the level, the fifth Wog Banner. At least there, I'm good as far as upgrades being on equal terms. I just want to get these Death Dreads now instead of the Killer Cans. Just keep healing. Got my own Mega Nos back up, so that's no negative there. I may be starting to suffer though, not upgrading these points. That's something I need to be careful of. Especially now that I'm healing everything up. Now we're kind of just brute forcing our way in, actually. I almost wonder if I want to attack from up top here. At least I could kill his resources at the same time as an added bonus. I kind of like that idea. This will start building up my energy. Okay, Gorguts, get on going. Death Dreads are down already. This does help me to that extent, at least. Actually, let me capture the point, because I almost expect him to be ready to defend, you would think. Actually, just need one squad there to defend while I push forward. And he's just slowing me down there from some... Oh, it's the Death Looters, isn't it? There, now get the Storm Boys in. Let them try and focus down Gorguts, because I don't think that's going to work very well, I'm hoping. That will block shots. As I go straight for a turret. There. There was a lots of wasting time there, but... We're starting to get this together. No, I don't have energy now, damn it. I spent it all on the knobs. So probably not a good idea there. So, kill the dang uh, storm boys, because they're just being annoying. And they're actually not able to stop all my few squads, so... All I got is a lot of rockets, and you know what they're good against? Knobs and Death Dre... What is it? Killer Cans. They are heavy. Yeah, they're heavy armor, so they're gonna die immediately. Maybe not so good against the Death Looters, so gotta be careful of that. Nope. Oh, he's got his own de Death... He's also got his own Mega Knob, so... Let's kill his structures, then. Oh, and I lost my Storm Boys, did I? Why are my... Why are my Mega Knobs going down there anyway, I wonder? Can I do the damage I need to kill him? Probably not, because he just killed my own Mega Knobs. Ah, oh, that's a waste. I am rebuilding you, so... And he lost his squads as well. Can I continue upgrades? I could continue gaining vehicle upgrades, heavy infantry upgrades, but... I don't. I think I'm kind of starved on power to deal with the. Yeah, to get more vehicles anyway. I can. Let me actually grab the scrap. Let's go all out on scrap. Oh. Oh, yeah, I have Gretchen's there. Oh, he conceded, it, damn it. Very sloppy, I'm not gonna lie. That was damn sloppy. But considering how it started, it was down to the thick of it ever since the beginning. So there is that. If only I managed that a little bit better, especially if grabbing that scrap to heal myself, that probably could have snowballed better for me. Especially since my 
Ev heavy, what is it? Heavy boys? My heavy boys there with an extra health and they're stun on charge? That actually could have turned it around for me. It's a weird feeling having to rush for scrap though. In orc on orc fight. It kind of seems appropriate, doesn't it? When scrap's on the ground, the boys want to stop fighting each other so they can grab the scrap first. It seems kind of silly though. That was a fun fight, but it was damn messy. I'm not gonna lie. Really damn messy, so I'm hoping I can improve on that. That's what I would like anyway. Thank you all for watching.